upgrades. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is Sammy Lake here representing Team JVS here to give you guys another movie review. This is an anime movie review. I will tell you guys up front, I have never seen this anime before. I went to Anime NYC and I got a glimpse of this and I was like, this looks so intriguing, I gotta see the movie, right? But then I was like, crap, I've missed whole two seasons and a third season is about to come and yes i'm talking about that time i got reincarnated as slime so i am i am rim ruining the situation <laughs> um i am literally caught off guard um but beholding to a very interesting dynamic and a plethora of characters that is in a very dynamic world and the name of this is the time i got reincarnated as slime the movie um, Scarlet Bond. So Rimuru uh, initially he was a man, regular, like regular person, and something tragic happened to him. He died, got reincarnated literally as a ball of slime, blue slime, and you know he found a way of being able to put himself in the form of a body, but he's still slime at all times too, um, and he ended up getting his own pack or squad, so to speak. And he's very powerful, like OP powerful. Now, at this point, like I believe he's a demon lord, um, and he's also the leader of his own pack called the Tempest, which is Rimuru's Tempest. It's, it's, his, it's his clan, his pack. Uh, everybody respects him, is afraid of him, but he seems like a humble, nice person, which is very fascinating to have so much power, which it makes sense. But there's an interesting character named Hiro. Well, found out he's got another name, but Hiro, when we first see him, he is saved by an unseemly princess named Toa. Toa comes from her own location and she's the queen of it. And she sees this man, she wants to give him a name, Hiro, and she wants to preserve him and protect him. And even if it costs her her life, she's going to want to guide and protect her kingdom. Now, her kingdom, of course, is getting attacked. Hero just happens to be a part of the ogre clan, ogre village, that one of uh, Rimuru's clan members is, like, he knows, like, matter of fact, a whole lot of them are ogres, and they didn't realize that he was still alive as much as he didn't realize they were still alive, and so when they meet, of course, you know, Hiro asks for their help and Rimuru and his crew are there to help. That is the baseline of it. Now, what did I think about this? Because again, I'm a fish out of water. I have no preconceived notion about any of this. I'll say off rip is some very engaging characters. One thing that I found fascinating, they spent so much time giving good character development for a character like Hiro. Like, and I kind of feel like if you know, Rimuru as a character was literally killed and made the slime, then he's got to have the, a pretty interesting character arc. And then throughout the course of this, like just using some of the ogres, for example, it seemed like all of them kind of found each other, so to speak, even though they knew each other younger. And they're all in different places in their lives. They're all doing good or bad things, but they're doing it with a purpose now because of being under the guise of Tempest. So based on the character progression, it seems like this is a character driven show, which I appreciate because if you can get behind characters, that's everything. Like, I mean, anybody can say anything they want to about My Academic, whether it's exciting or boring or not, but you never say the characters aren't intriguing and interesting. When you have char good characters, it's like Jujutsu Kaisen, same exact thing. Great action, yes, off the wall, some of the best action. But the characters is what sells you. And I think that's one of the things that this has in spades. Um, I think the the art style is really interesting. Some really well sculpted characters. But sometimes I was kind of thrown off because I didn't know, like, okay, characterization, this is an orc. Um, this is an ogre. This is a demon. This is a higher being. Like, I, there's so many different classifications. Like, so if you, if someone like me going in not knowing anything, it's a little hard to kind of get adjusted. 
Um, but it's enough to make me want to go back and rewatch uh, the first two seasons because I want to see now where the story and the narrative is going to go. So I think that's one thing to, to add brownie points for this. Um, I listened to both uh, the Japanese uh, sub, and I also listened to the, the, the dubbed um, uh, English translation. And I think that the dub is really well done. Um, and I also think that the sub, as, as the normal is, is on point. Um, some very interesting engaging characters but I was I was what attached me was definitely a hero hero and Toa were the things that kind of like made this because as much as Rimuru and his crew are interested and engaging I felt the same exact way honestly with the One Piece movie read um, where I was like yeah there's a couple characters there that never showed up before and they're bringing me front and center but they're introducing me into this world um and i kind of feel the same exact way about this one so i think this if you if you know the story i think you can really get invested in the movie but if you don't know the story i think you would enjoy the movie um you would just need to go back and re-watch um now i will say this like when the action goes it's good like first at first half of this was crazy second half sec Second, the se well, the third act, the final act was really action heavy. Second act really about a lot of uh, character progression and dissection, but a lot of it was kind of traded off with things and characters that I'm supposed to know that I don't. Um, it kind of lost me a little bit, but it still kept it engaging because I liked the characters. But I could see where that could turn some people off to like I I don't know what this is about like we're, we're like get to the action this is an action driven movie which is weird because normally the movies have the most action like the shows are the ones that are not supposed to have as much action um, so it's very fascinating if the 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 movies like this that means the show is a little bit slower possibly I don't know uh, so I can't gauge one way or another but just in the movie. Um, there's a third act action set minute, first act, and then there's a couple of different spouts here or there. But it's more so about me latching to the character, and I did like that aspect of it. But at times I was kind of like, I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of torn. I'm torn with this one. I think it's a good movie. I think it's definitely something that those that know this franchise are going to be excited about. I'd rest it a 7.5 out of 10. I think I would definitely rewatch it again after going and watching the first two seasons but going in code i don't know if that's necessarily a good idea let me know what you guys think of it it is right now i think available but go and check out um the scarlet bond and let me know what you think make sure you like subscribe hit the bell button thank you so much for watching keep it locked jvs swing will stop peace people